my art friends. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own butterflies or beetles just like Maria Marion. So I've gathered some resources here, uh, how to draw a butterfly, how to draw different insects, um, how to draw beetles, and then some color references. So let's start by looking at the butterflies. It's got a step-by-step -step drawing guide here. So first you're going to draw the body of your butterfly just kind of like a skinny oval and then you've got number two the straight lines that are in between the two wings and then number three you're drawing the top of the wings and on these butterflies these are called the four wings on the top and then the bottom wings are called the hind wings. It's gonna start at the bottom of the butterfly and end up at the center where they meet. And if your butterfly doesn't look exactly like that one, it's okay. We've got lots of different types here. And then you can add the antenna. You can add eyes. And then you can add the different veins. And again, there's lots of different types of ways you can draw these. So just look at the examples and use the examples that you like the best. And then you're gonna try to make it the same on both sides because a butterfly has symmetry. But if it's not exact, that's okay. of different varieties of butterflies here for my color reference. You can use whatever kind of coloring um, material you have. Crayons, colored pencils. I've got some watercolor here but I um, might also be using some colored pencils and showing you how to blend those because color penciling or color pencil drawing can be really fun when you start learning how to blend. But I'll start with paint. my own colors. Makes it more interesting. Let's look at this glass butterfly and do a little bit of colored pencil. Do something a little bit different. You can also do the same technique with um, crayons as well. So I'm going to pick two colors. I've got some blue and some brown and I'm going to make the body of the butterfly. The brown is more of my darker color to make a shadow, and then my blue is my lighter color. So I'm going to start with my lighter color. Very lightly color the whole body, the butterfly. And then I'm going to go back in brown and just add some little dark areas shadows. Not pressing too hard. 
that just makes that butterfly's body pop instead of being one flat color. You can even make some lighter areas. I want to add a lighter colored pencil in there. And then I'm going to move on to the wings. And so I can keep on the blue theme. Got a, a dark blue and a light blue. I'm going to take my dark blue and just color a little bit around the edges of these other shapes. Just to make the color a little bit richer around the edges, a little bit darker. difference is not too much but it's enough to really make it make a difference in the drawing. Okay, I'm going to add some green coloring with light even strokes. It's like my base color and I'll layer the other colors on top. light blue and just add a little bit of layering on some of the sides of the green areas, not coloring the whole thing in. Just making that color a little bit richer, a little bit darker. And very lightly add a little blue in there. So I hope that shows you how you can use colored pencils to layer and add some really cool details to your butterflies. Another thing you can add to really make this pop is a little shadow under each butterfly. So you could take some brown, black, or gray paint and just pick where you want your, which side your shadow you, you want it to be on. Um, don't make a shadow all the way around just to one side. So I'm going to pick You do want to make sure that you, the paint that you've already used on your butterfly is dry so that your shadow doesn't run into your butterfly and mess up the colors you've already used. Most people do, you can add some splatter paint. 